Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a new thing and I don't know how it lasts depending on how many people view this. But uh, this is about life. But in life, there's a lot of um, aspect and a lot of way of dealing with them. And there's going to be an advice about that situation. So... We'll see how it flows because looking at this one, I feel like there's different situation going on in here. So take what resonates. This is a general reading and I will read it general. Okay. So you have the nine of cups clarified by the fool. You have the humor. You have surrendered to what is and you have the exchanging gifts. Number 27, 2 plus 7, 9, which is the end, end of a cycle. So... What I'm getting here is that for the month of January 2022, it's about reaching for what you want that would think that you would think would make you happy. Okay. And for some of you, you are desiring specific things, you know, could be relationship situation, could be job. It could be money. It could be anything, right? And this is something that you are willing to take a leap of faith to or you are willing to take action to and going for it. I feel that there is two groups here. So I will talk about the first group. The first group is of someone or a group of people who are wishing something and they're going for it, no doubt, this February 2022. They're going for it. But you are going for it with a, with a mind that says, okay, I'm going for it because I want to do it because I know it's going to make me happy and that has been something I've been wanting to do. But I would take whatever consequences or result of that i might get what i want or i might not get what i want so you have an open mind to this one you have an open heart to this one that you'll take whatever you're hoping for the best yes no doubt about it but you are not going to to dwell on sadness and desperation if you don't get it because i have the humor in here and you will decide to choose or you're choosing the lighter side of life, which is you're not going to dwell on any, you know, rejection of this wish that you might have. That you want to attain this February. And you are surrendering to what is, to whatever God's plan, to whatever the universe wants you to have. It's for your highest good. You do believe that. You, you, you are compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. That is what it says here. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So you're not going against the grain here. You're not going against the flow here. You're going with the flow. Yes, you are desiring something. You want something to happen and you are doing it to make it happen. But if somehow, if it does not work out, you are accepting it because you believe that it's not for you. Because you do believe and you know that when you put some effort an energy will be exchanged. It means that, okay, I will put my heart, my mind to this, to this specific wish that I have. And I know and I believe in the long run, it will come back to me, right? Whatever energy you put there, it will come back to you. It's a fair give and take. But what this exchanging gift do and this surrender to what is, is just saying that, if it does not happen, you have to have the, the understanding 
that maybe the reason why you did not get it is for some special reason that the universe wants you to understand and to take it lightly. And I think that is what this first group is doing, that whatever, they will do whatever they need to do. And But if somehow they don't get it, then they don't get it. They're not going to be up, uh, upset about it. Now for the second group here is that you wanted something that would make you happy and you're going for it. But I feel that you are so fixated or really, really honing on getting what you're trying to get. And in the back of your mind, I do not want to disappoint myself. I want to get what I wanted to get and I'm doing everything I can to achieve what I'm wishing to achieve. And if you don't get it, I feel that you're not going to be happy about it. And you're going to say, oh, well, I worked so hard for this. I'm, I've done everything I can to get what I want. And this is what I'm going to get. That is not fair. Now you're taking the humor out of the situation. What the universe is saying is that you have to surrender to what is. To go with the flow. Of what is what you're supposed to have to go with the flow of what the universe and the divine was planning for you because the the divine and the universe is aware of this exchanging gift exchanging energy they're well aware of that they're well aware that when you put an energy to something that you're gonna get it but what if what you want is not the best for you what if that you're wishing for it's not for your highest good and the universe is pulling you away from that but you you don't understand it you're not understanding that it's not for you but to you that's what you wanted the divine and the universe is saying that you have to be open-minded and go with the flow and understand that there are some things in our life that we're gonna get when we work for it but there's also something that we want but we don't get it because it's meant to because there is a special reason behind that There is a special reason behind that. And only you can know it if you tap into your inner self, to your heart, to your center. God and the divine God or the divine or whatever your religion is or whatever you believe in. They work in a mysterious way. You, you will be surprised. The magic behind that. Alright, this is your reading Capricorn. I thank you so much. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Bye-bye.